I went to the Dutch Film Festival where the managing director Herman Hulst of Guerrilla Games sat down to talk about Horizon Zero Dawn for two and a half hours discussing the things that went into making the game and also he shared a little bit of DLC info that I will share in this video. But first I want to share some quick development facts. For example, did you know that they spent two and a half years on the hair of Aloy to make it look like it does because you look at this character all the time in a first person game and to have it not work or glitch out will really make your experience worse. So two and a half years on the hair alone. And yes, Egrid from Game of Thrones was a big inspiration for Aloy indeed. Pretty obvious but still awesome to see. Also the girl from the henna movie that is getting trained by some sort of father figure to become some sort of secret agent. And that can be compared with the sort of training that of course little Aloy got to become the warrior that she is today. Anyway, the Frozen Wilds was also touched on a little bit and I of course want to share those details with with you. The Frozen Wilds namely includes IDs that did not make it into the real game. Horizon Zero Dawn is obviously huge, a ton of IDs went into making this game and a ton of them are in the game right now, but not everything made it during the 6 year development cycle. Simply because of a lack of time, resources and other focuses. Totally understandable, but now with the Frozen Wilds they can revisit these IDs according to Herman. That these IDs did not make it into the base game doesn't mean that they deleted them altogether. They still got stuff lying around that they can now use to make a new exciting world with awesome gameplay relatively fast. Those things you will see in the Frozen Wilds. During the presentation it was mentioned that sometimes people worked on ideas that sadly did not make it into the game because it would not fit one of the things Horizon was trying to do. One thing is regarding the tribe that the Frozen Wilds is centered around at, the Banuk. As seen in early concept art, they live in peace and harmony with the machines mounting them and letting them do the work for them. And this was not really in line with the fact that they wanted the machines to be dangerous. Herman mentioned that if you then follow a machine in a ditch while he is doing some work, it loses the sense of danger that you have when encountering them in the wild. So they deleted the fact that the machine lived alongside the Banuk altogether. Heck, why we see the concept art on the internet without any machines. The Manu camps are empty. So don't expect them to bring that ID back because like I said, it did not fit with the things Horizon was trying to do. But I still think that some of that old DNA of overridden machines is inserted in this DLC. And we can already see this in the A Moment's Peace side quest that is in the game right now. Where we of course visit this awesome looking tribe, the Banuk, and see the peaceful machines there as well. But then we later found out that some sort of artifact was causing the weird effect that would make the machines overridden. I would not be surprised if this happened again or someone like this creating more awesome set pieces where we have to fight machines that suddenly go rogue. Sadly Herman did not share any of the IDs that Guerrilla Games will now be implanting in the DLC, IDs that did not make it into the base game, but I would not be surprised if Herman also means that some IDs for the environments as seen as the art book would translate over. For example this awesome tent inspired by Tana Job Parts would be awesome if we saw something like this in the game as well. I mean it would make sense with the fact that Herman is saying that they could create a new exciting world with awesome gameplay relatively soon, implying to me that they also looked at old concept art and maybe brought that into the game. We can only hope. Also interesting information is that Herman noted that they started working on the DLC in February, so around the launch of the base game. So that means the development time of 9 months when the DLC comes out and that's a long time for a DLC. November 7th is approaching, my excitement level is really through the roof at this point. Subscribe to stay up to date on everything regarding Horizon Zero Dawn and the DLC. I will have a ton of awesome content up as we near release and beyond, so totally subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video to support the channel, thanks a lot for watching and I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.